in this video I'm going to talk about the steps box uh, element. Now to preview it you have to go to the element and steps boxes. As you can see here uh, I have uh, included a lot, uh, a lot a huge variety of styles. I think I actually exaggerated with so many so many styles but I don't know they're they're nice they're, they're cool to have they uh, bring a meaning and uh, deliver a message so uh, I think it's uh, cool to have them and to use them in this video I'm going to talk about the uh, steps boxes one which has uh, actually two styles this one is uh, the classic which uh, as you can see uh, it has uh, four boxes the first is uh, as an intro while the rest has uh, uh, delivers some messages and this one right here is basically the same but uh, it's displayed differently it has this cool offset uh, design and um, uh, is rather uh, cool so I will edit this page with the page builder and I'm going to because this is style one I'm going to edit this one right here you can um, uh, choose the style sorry uh -huh. I've opened the title element I was wondering where well, what was with this uh, field <laughs> so I'm going to open the steps box and the first option is the style selector now you can have style 1 this one and style 2 which is this one right here now they're both cool I mean in this new version I thought uh, a new style will bring a refresh but like I said there are many styles of uh, of steps boxes and uh, probably will stop here so the next option is the icons size you can make the icons as big as you want I mean maximum 200 pixels it's I think it's quite enough or perhaps you have a high definition uh, designed icon and you want to um, I don't know showcase their uh, details but something like this would be yeah like this would be more than uh, than okay so we have the uh, title our working process here and uh, I don't know I thought uh, this should be a subtitle but just as a message so uh, these two are tied up in a meaningful way our working process in three steps and the steps on to the right then we have the description right here which is this text and then we have the link text this is a link and you can uh, specify the URL where you want to point this uh, this uh, link to go to and you can also select the uh, target of the anchor whether you want into a new window or the same window great so now we have the uh, actual steps uh, these boxes right here uh, you can uh, sort them you can delay them you can clone them and you can edit them now I have uh, moved this one to the uh, to the first so I'm going to edit this one as you can see I can change the step title right here design and develop um, I can change the box color I'm going to say I don't know this orange uh, some content right here some text and I can choose whether I want a font icon or an image now for an image simply browse for the image and uh, edit uh, I'm a fan of SVG images 
so you can uh, use them because they're vectorial and uh, they serve their purpose but I will go for font icon because it's much easier to work with so you can select the icon color say you want uh, I don't know this green and you can use an icon so I'm going to choose this one right here I'm not sure yeah it's a map and um, you can also choose uh, if you don't want any uh, animation of the icon not sure if you notice but when you hover the uh, the icon box no not not the icon box the step when you uh, hover the step uh, the icon will animate so we'll just leave it like a pulse uh, great now if you're wondering how to uh, load the uh, custom icons just go to dash uh, dashboard into the back end then go to Kalias options advanced options and you can see here the icon font uploader tool so you can uh, load here as many icons as you want I won't talk too much about this uh, feature because uh, there's already an, a video existing about this one so uh, just take a look at that video and you'll uh, learn immediately how to load your own uh, custom um, custom icons so back to the element I'm going to save this one and close and save the element as you can see I have changed the color of the uh, step box the main step box the color of the uh, the icon and as you can see the effects pulse tada and I don't know this I have no idea how this one is called you can find there in the selector so yeah this is the uh, steps box uh, element now moving on to the second uh, style basically the element is placed onto a 12 column uh, element and you can edit the sizes basically we as an extra extra options uh, beside this one we have a uh, the element height right here now as you can see there's a small problem right here it won't work for too big of a of a height so something like this is quite okay then we have the uh, right side uh, background color you can choose either uh, light or gray I choose gray and you'll notice the difference you can uh, also uh, specify some icon sizes now in case you're wondering why they don't change I think that's because each one is using an image yeah so as you can see they're using images instead of um, uh, an, uh, an icon I have yeah so as you can see here um, I have chosen uh, an image for these uh, three uh, examples now you can again sort them delete them clone them and edit their settings so that's about it with this element to add it to the page simply create a new section and search for step uh, sorry no steps as you can see there are four styles I'm just going to take the first one and this one is empty but you can uh, edit the, the styles so yeah so 
uh, this is it uh, thanks for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask me and if you're having troubles with the element um, simply subscribe to our support forums and my uh, colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one